clearly it's, it's clear what it says in English. Please ensure the gate is firmly closed and latch behind you for pupil safety because that gate opens onto a busy road. Protect the children. The same thing had been on the sign in Gaelic. But in the space of time of the school moving out at the end of term and in August when it had opened up in the new place, somebody had come along to that sign and several other signs like it and had actually just scraped off all of the Gaelic of it. <laughs> All the qualities, the phonetic yes. qualities, yes. Are, um, yes. 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 The, the, the sounds bang off each other. Yeah. So that's why so like a fluent speaker, a fluent speaker, can make those mistakes. But because they're getting the music right, yeah. you just don't even notice. Yeah. Nous vivons pour Francisco, il t'oyez, il m'échange, je t'oyez, c'est bien aussi. Well, your Irish was okay. <laughs> because I was speaking Donegal Irish with a Belfast accent because that's what the piece required. Yeah. And uh, it was okay. And that's because they were coming with their baggage as Donegal speakers. Uh, but I don't understand any of that Gaelic. Huh? And then I got these Gaelic speakers who, I would say predominantly Lewis Gaelic speakers who have a comfort zone and a kind of confidence of what their Gaelic is, saying, I understood your Gaelic, but really it was learner Gaelic. <laughs> uh, why do you choose to speak? Oh yeah, why do you choose to speak? Yeah, so two reasons, one kind of a negative sounding, one positive sounding. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> the negative one being the I, I came from a monolingual English background, and also from the the rich north, one of the richest countries in the world. I'm white male, went to Oxford. Uh, I could hardly have more of the profile of the, of the oppressor. And so when when when, when I go to uh, to South America, I feel like the least the least I could do would be to learn. The language of the other people, of someone who speaks an indigenous language there. So to like, I, I, don't, I don't think people should always have to come up with their reasons for speaking the language. Well, why, why, why are you dominant language speakers? What are your reasons for not, for not wanting, for thinking this language isn't valuable? Mm -hmm. And every time a language is lost, there's you know, a huge amount of knowledge that's lost. And that's, you know, I'm, I've become aware since I've kind of started. I mean, I've always been aware that sort of, you know, that there's something about the importance of holding on to the language that I was given, the language that I've just started to learn to speak in the last few years, uh, that I'm, I'm, I have something in me that, 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 it, that I'm holding on to that is important. Okay. Okay, everybody smile. Hello, hello, hello. Go. Yeah, no. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, okay.
machine. Strange the fellow Brita or doy me mo yo. All her me am yow me, ni stop big me huya. Gusha si me she's a lord. Hunde we yo. Kamritsky cry. Lem żal mi tia moja chyżo, lem żal mi tia moja chyżo, so miana żal. Lem żal mi tia moja chyżo, lem żal mi tia moja chyżo, so miana żal. Sure.